Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. So, this was brought in to me, and they say, it's not charging. So I'm thinking, maybe it's just the charge port. This is pretty common. I thought maybe the solder joints were cracked or something, but let's um, check it out. It seems more or less stable in there. It does look like it wiggles around a bit, but there's a power button, volume up and down, Bluetooth, but no power. So you can just pull the grill off the front of these speakers. Nothing special holding that on. It's real simple. You can see one of the uh, passive radiators at the top there. Looks like uh, five screws. These are T9s. There's a couple of three-inch drivers and two tweeters. So I've never opened one of these before, so I really wasn't sure what to expect. So as soon as I look down inside, I immediately see this connector just dangling there, right here. And that's the first thing I notice when I open this thing up. And I'm thinking, that can't be right. So somebody's been in this thing before. Those are a couple of fat, big fatty magnets there, so it makes a pretty good sound. And there's a tweeter there and another one on the other side. There's another one of those passive radiators on the back as well. You can just see it in the center of that, that rear dome. There's also a battery that is connected under, under a... Uh, there's that cable. That was the one dangling loose. So I suspect that's what the problem is. But we're going to go a little bit further and go ahead and disconnect these other cables so we can open this all the way up. And, uh, yeah, wiggling it doesn't work. They're actually locked in place with little locks, so you have to squeeze the lock. A little tab on um, one side of this connector, and it releases it. Now, there's a battery uh, underneath that's still connected. That's what's still... We didn't disconnect the battery. <laughs> uh, that's still connected. And it's underneath this plastic cover here. But we're going to work on this other plastic cover. It's got three screws. And get access to the DC inboard. See what it looks like. Someone's also put a screw in to one of these legs and you can see it just sticking out on the right hand side there so i suspect what occurred is they took this apart to make sure that screw didn't go into anything important and when they put it back together they there's the screw they forgot to plug in the dcm board which is just the little green board here on the left side and um I was kind of off camera a little bit, but I was just taking a, a look at the solder joints, and they were they were actually nice. They were soldered on. There was no crack or anything in those joints, so I don't think there's a problem with that. But considering it wasn't plugged in, I suspect that they just forgot to plug it in when they put it back together after putting that big old gnarly screw in there. This is uh, the one that we disconnected, the, and then this is the other one we disconnected. This one is the one that was already disconnected that this plugs into. So, yeah, I think that's that's all that's wrong here. I 
I thought we were at least going to get to do some soldering or something on this, but nah. So I was trying to figure out how can I like put this in such a way that you can see what's actually going on and I can still plug everything in. So bear with me a minute while I try and figure out that, that angle. So let's start with this one. Just snaps right in. We'll get that one ready and lined up and we'll go ahead and put this one in. This is the one that was disconnected when we opened it connecting directly to the DCM board. This is the second one that we disconnected at the very beginning. And I think we can go ahead and close it up. I'm pretty confident that that's uh, what the issue is. I think that's pretty obvious. So we'll just put those screws back in. And test it out. So I am not a fan of Bluetooth speakers. I don't like Bluetooth or sound. That is, I don't like my audio or my music playing through Bluetooth because Bluetooth always makes it sound really crappy. But it's convenient, and that's always good. Okay, so we're going to switch to getting some sound going here so you can actually hear the speaker. Let's try this again. Here we go. So you can see it is lighting up. It is making sound. Although it's sped up two times the normal speed. Bluetooth is kicking in. It is recognized by the phone. Let's just pick something that I won't get a copyright strike. Just going to play a little something real quick. Something that hopefully won't make. It won't be too obvious for a copyright strike. Anyway, so you can see that things lighten up. You can hear the sounds. Everything's all good again. Anyway, hopefully you liked the video. At least we got to see inside it. It's working again. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.